Any time now, Viva. I'm ready. Huh? I'm a little rusty at teleporting, but it should be there by now. Uh, it's not here. What? Ugh. It's here. <laughs> Give me that. Activate creature power. Okay, bro, you gotta get out there. I'm on it, like a Yeti crab. <laughs> We're running on zero battery power now. Hurry up! What? Whoa. Martin to Wildcrat's team. This place is like another world. An alien planet. Hey, Sea Squatch. Come on, time to show me what to do. Give me the energy collection tour. Hey, slow down. I can't walk that fast underwater. Phew. It sure is getting hot down here. Don't get too <gasps> close. The superheated water that's coming out of those vents reaches temperatures up to 400 degrees Celsius. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. No wonder why I feel like a crab in a cooked pot. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're waving your arms near the vent so your bristly hairs can collect bacteria. Let me try it. It's working. Oh! Sea Squatch, that's my swirl of bacteria. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, okay then. Whoa. 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 Uh, help! Use your arms. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> These hairy arms not only look good and filter bacteria, they got some muscle power in them too. See what I mean? Yeah. That's not you. That's an. Earthquake! Martin, get out of there! All right, arm hairs covered in bacteria, ready to get out of here. Got it! A shed Yeti crab carapace that I collected. Guys, do Yeti crabs even live at this particular thermal vent? Nobody really knows. It's still pretty unexplored. But we do know Yeti crabs have the power to survive hydrothermal vents. And I've got to get out there with the creatures. I'm going Yeti. Activate Yeti power. Oh yeah, this suit is awesome. The hairy arms that collect chemobacteria the crushing claws? I am ready to go. Let's get to it, bro. I'll take the emphasub. What? I just finished fixing it. Eh, don't worry. I won't smush it this time. Maybe I'll leave the tools out. Might be needing them again real soon. Okay, we're ready for deployment. Miniaturize! <laughs> Jimmy, now I can show you what this giant crack in the earth is all about. Uh, you really don't have to. Down we go. Pulpo, touchdown. I'll check it out. He's eating a uh, shrimp. Makes more sense than an oven mitt. Look here, chemobacteria is covering these vents. <laughs> and the shrimp are munching on it. They're vent shrimp. A special type of shrimp that only lives here. Kilometers and kilometers under the surface of the ocean. 
and they're all picking at that chemobacteria that is growing here. Grinding it up, they're grazing on the bacteria like rabbits or gazelles graze on grass. Popo, you led us right to the start of a new underwater food chain. Aw, hey, thanks for showing us your world. Whee and for the fun ride! Hey, Chris, this little guy is eyeing me. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Finch shrimp don't really see. They only see heat, remember? Well, yeah, that's right. I mean, down here it's pitch dark, so seeing isn't really important. But finding chemobacteria by the hot smokers is. So they see heat. <laughs> what a creature power! <laughs>